I want to show you how to reset, configure and reconfigure a Huawei 4G router at home. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Serge from Tech and Fix. This is the channel where we show you how to DIY all the tech at home. For more content just like this one here, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell so that you are the first person to be notified when we release a new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to reset and configure a Huawei CPE B593 router, 4G router at home. To demonstrate this, we have two routers. We also have the B535. And frankly, the process is the same as the B593. Both these routers have a reset hole at the back. We're going to use that to reset them into factory settings. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are going to focus on the CPE B593. Okay, let's go and reset this router. For this specific type, the reset hole is rather on the side than at the back. So what we're going to do here, so what we're going to do over here while the router is on, we're going to press that button in there until the light flicks. And you can see that the lights are flicking. The router will restart and restore onto factory settings. Let's give it a few seconds and wait for the router to fully restore to the factory settings. Now that all the lights are on, we need to log in into the router's firmware and make all the necessary changes that we want to happen, like changing the SSD ID, um, modifying the password and doing all the other changes. Okay guys, now that we've done all the hardware reset parts, let's jump into the software one. First, we need to connect to the device because remember we reset the device by default and you can see that mine is a Huawei B593 E304. I'll connect to that uh, device using the username and the password that is at the back of the device. Each device will have a different password and this is the default password or every time you reset it goes back to that default password. Mine will be B39N9TTE2000. 200, sorry. That is my password. But on your device, the password will differ. So now that we connected, first thing first, I need to launch my browser. You can use any browser that you have. I'm using uh, Edge. You can use um, Mozilla. You can use Google Chrome. To configure this device, you can either type in the IP address of this device or the URL of all Huawei devices. And this is homerouter.cpe. So over here, it opens up uh, my device configuration page. And already you can see that uh, I have a message, two messages. I have a SIM card, normal SIM card that is inserted in the device. And my network is 4G. So by default, for all these Huawei devices or most of routers, the username is admin. I'll type in admin and mostly the password is the same, admin as well. I'll type in admin and try and log in. So it logs me in into the configuration page. For all mobile devices, guys, please check over here. You'll see the video that we covered last time. But these are the home routers. There are a few menus over here. We have the home, that is the page over here that gives us the IP address and it gives us certain information regarding this device here. The, then you have the internet menu that gives us the status, the network mode, the profile and everything. You have the LAN. Basically, the LAN is everything that is connected on the LAN port. You have the Wi-Fi as all the configurations that you need for the Wi-Fi. You have security. Basically, security will have to deal with um, updates or Mac filtering or if you want to block certain people and, and allow other people to use your device, you have those. And system, basically, it's uh, when you want to update, to reset, to change configurations of your, your device. But we're going to change few settings. We 
already reset the device now we need to set it a Wi-Fi name that will easily remember and a password so that it can allow our, our uh, phones and other device to connect to this one here already you can see that um, on the Huawei B593 E303 and if you look here this will be the Wi-Fi name that um, comes by default and you can see that I'm already connected so first thing look let's look at the product information it gives us the information of this product and the device that is connected you have an option to kick it out but this is my desktop so I'm going to quick set up this device and I'll go to next network mode I'll leave it as auto so it can pick up the best connection for me uh, connection mode I'll leave it always open next on the Wi-Fi country region I'll change from China to the country where I am at the moment South Africa but if let's say you are in the US you can put US in any other country you can change and put the country that you are in so um, mode I'll leave it uh, default I won't change it channel I leave it default as well to allow many as many devices to connect to the Wi-Fi router and then SSID the broadcasting ID if you look the name that is here Huawei B Huawei B593 E304 is the same that I'm connected to I don't want it to be renamed like this so I'll change this one here and put tech fix then I'll go to next and under Wi-Fi security over here you'll see that there is a password this is the password for the Wi-Fi this password if I show you is the default that is at the back of the device so I need to change it and personalize and put my own all right I've already put my password then I'll go next and it gives me all the configurations my password and everything if I'm happy with this then I'll submit the device will restart and come back the way we configured it you can see that I'm not connected because I had changed the name over here and you can see this tech fix that is the name of my device it's as for the password I'll put the password sorry about the noise guys there are some people making some construction um, at the back the device if I go now on the status it will show me the statuses if you look at my messages for example I'm using Vodacom South Africa and Vodacom sent me a message saying that um, if I need to be connected I need to load data and everything but the purpose of this tutorial today is not to show you how to load data or assume that you have data already loaded into your sim card and all you wanted to do is to reset the device and reconfigure the device as used so to recap over here we have the home internet is where you see the type of network that you have for some people basically instead of saying um, on the profile if your network has a specific APN address you need to create a new profile and after creating that new profile you load that profile over here so as you can see it only says auto let me show you how to do that you go to APN management then you can see the only one the auto one has internet is APN here in South Africa most network use internet as APN so that's why I didn't change it and that's why it's connected automatically but let's say in your world or where you are you have different APNs you'll have to add a new profile by clicking on add then tap the profile name let's say rain and input the APN of that profile it could be WAP is just an example and maybe if the authentication is auto or there's nothing you leave it blank and then you submit these settings here you get them from your service provider now if you come to internet 
and check under profile you can select the profile that applies to the sim card that you're using but in my case because it's auto comes with the APN um, internet I don't have to do that so I'll delete that for now that's internet the LAN over here local uh, network basically it gives you the IP addresses and MAC addresses of everything that is connected on your device the Wi-Fi that's where we want to change the Wi-Fi um, device name and and password and then under security basically uh, you have a lot of options here under security you can filter devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi by MAC address or you can change other settings just play around and see but these I don't really check this much um, and then under services I don't check mass voice over IP I don't and then the system that's the other one I check is where you can other restart reset this reset here that's the same as um, hard reset and then you can download the configuration guys I hope this tutorial helped you a lot if you have if you encounter any challenges please let me know in the comments below I will respond accordingly thank you so much guys for watching this video I hope it was helpful and if you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this ones here please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys I'll see you next time